Our learning target for this presentation is writing an equation in slope-intercept form. Given a graph, a slope and a point, or two points. So we have a lot of information in this one. Remember to write an equation in slope-intercept form. You need the slope, so you can insert it for the slope, and the y-intercept. A graph, it is really easy to find that. The y-intercept is just where it crosses the y-axis. So if we're dealing with the example A, this line right here, we find where it crosses the y-axis, which is 4, so that is my b, and we have to find the slope. Remember the slope is the rise over the run, so how far do we have to go down to go over, or how far do we have to go up? In this case, we have to go down 2 over 1. So my slope is a negative 2 over 1, we can just leave it as negative 2. I know that my line is going downhill, so I know that my slope is going to be negative. So the equation for A is y equals negative 2x plus 4. I'm going to change this a little bit for the next example, B, because one thing I have noticed that people forget to do is look at the scale of the axes and just count boxes. So let's pretend that instead of the y-axis going by 1's, it really goes by 10's. So let's say this is negative 20, this is negative 40, etc, etc. 20, 40. So here, when I am looking for my y-intercept, my y-intercept would be 30. So I'm going to say my y-intercept b is negative 30. And then I have to go rise over run. So now to go from point to point, I went from negative 30 to negative 20. So I went up 10 and my x-axis is still numbered by 1. So I went up 10 over 1, 2, 3. So 10 thirds. So now I can write my equation for b y equals, it's positive because it goes uphill, 10 thirds x minus 30. So don't forget to look to see how your axes are numbered when you're figuring out the slope from a graph. In our next example, we're given a slope and a point. Remember you need the slope and the y-intercept to write the equation in slope-intercept form. And there are a couple different ways that you can go about finding the y-intercept if you're given a slope and a point. I'm going to actually use this form for this example. So I'm going to substitute in my slope for the slope, the x for the x, the y for the y, and solve for b. So 7 equals 2 times 3 plus b. So that's 6 plus b equals 7 minus 6, minus 6, so b is negative 1. So now I have my y-intercept, and I had already been given the slope, so slope-intercept form would be y equals 2x minus 1. Let's do one more example. Here's my x, here's my y, here's my m. So 3 equals... 4 times 8 plus b. So all we did was plug that into y equals mx plus b. And we're going to solve for b. So 3 equals 32 plus b. I'm going to subtract 32. So b is negative 29. So now I have my y-intercept, I have my slope, I'm going to write this down here, y equals 4, which is my slope that I was given, x minus 29, which is my y-intercept, which we found. If you need more examples, please come and see me, and I can go through these examples with you. When you're given two points, it's not any more difficult, it's just an added step, because first we have to find the slope. So remember the slope is the change in y over the change in x. So if we have these two points, we have to do 3 minus 1 over 0 minus a negative 1. So I have 2 over 1, so my slope is 2. 
So now I have my slope of 2 and I can use my x and my y like I did on the last slide in the last example. Substitute in for m, x, and y to find my b. So y equals mx plus b. 1 equals 2 times negative 1 plus b. So 1 equals a negative 2 plus b. I'm going to add 2. So b is 3. Now I have my y-intercept. I have my slope. So slope-intercept form, y equals 2x plus 3. And that is where you can stop. Let's do one application problem. With application problems, you're either going to be given the slope and the y-intercept, a the slope and a point, or two points. In this case, we're not given a rate, so we're not given the slope. But we, what we are told is that there are 450 cars in 2006 and 600 in 2012. To me, that looks like two data points. It's really important that we notice that zero corresponds to the year 2000. So if 2000 is zero, 2006 must be six, and there are 450 cars sold. And 2012, if 2000 is zero, 2012 is 12, and there were 600 cars sold. And from here, it's exactly like the last equation, the, excuse me, the last example, and I'm not going to go all the way through this, but you'd have to find your slope, and then take one of the points, substitute it in for x and y, to get your y-intercept, and then write it in slope-intercept form.